Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. Um, I know I've been putting up a lot of videos. I've been putting one up every day. Um, I thought I'd just explain why that is the situation. Um, I do put up quite a lot of videos because obviously I'm retired and I don't have to go out to work, which is good news. Um, but particularly now, at the moment, while Amir's away, um, one of the reasons is my wife's been quite ill. Uh, she had some flu, or we thought it was flu, and she's kind of been in bed for, I don't know, a week or on and off, maybe 10 days in Vienna and down here. And, um, and, and it seems like it's more bronchitis, really bad with coughing, can't sleep. And obviously, I can't sleep as well. So um, I need to be close to the house so I can get a tea and coffee or take her something or whatever, food and what have you. So that's the reason I've had a lot of time. I've actually not got on with very much because I need to be near the house and I've got to walk the two dogs. Stella's doing very well, by the way. She's chewing a few bits and pieces, but she's still a puppy. Unfortunately, like most puppies, she decides to chew the most expensive stuff, but we try and get her out of it. It seems like it's going to work. And Sammy is good with her, so that's, they, they got on very well and they go for a walk on each side of the road, so it's very good. Um, so that's the reason I've been putting up so many videos. Um, I'm going to show you what I've been doing with the carbs. I've only done a little bit. I'm doing a kind of an hour, a couple of hours a day tops. And this is where I'm making the videos up. Um, but um, I, three years ago, I think it was, I've got it, I've got it written here. So if you're interested in seeing these carbs, I don't want to go all over it again because I did it three years ago. It's exactly the same carb as uh, SU HD8s, which is the, fitted to the E-type as well. There are different setup with the manifolds, and you know there are some uh, things you can't use. For instance, you can't use a Mark 10 um, uh, um, manifold on, a, on an E-type, and, and so on and so forth, because of the height of the bonnet, and so on and so forth, um, because of the power bulge on it, and the other cars, the engine was sat lower. There's lots of different things like that. But if you want to drop me an email and ask me, um, so if you go to I did a six videos on a complete um, triple SU manifold uh, system. That the whole lot, polishing it, cleaning it, repairing it, putting it together, showing how the diaphragms and uh, needles are set up properly to centralise them. So if you go to Jaguar SU HD8 carb E-type from part one to part six, and I'll put this in the. Um, in the notes or the, uh, the heading at the bottom, I'll put this where you can go and find it. And if you go to all six of those, you can see it from start to finish, uh, which is exactly what I'm doing here. But I'm just showing some things that I've learned from that three years ago. And before I show you this stuff, uh, congratulations to DB on his new uh, acquisition. Um, that's uh, DB Mini DIY. Um, he's bought a Morris 1000. 1957 it is, it's in really good nick. I'm, I'm really surprised how good it is. So congratulations on that and you, within our little circle of all the people that, that we all talk to, I think you've now got the oldest. These two E-types were 58 and yours is 57, so you have the oldest one at the moment. But I don't think I'd better find one earlier than that. So, but congratulations, it looks like a, it looks like a great car. With A series engine, you can't go wrong. And the Morris Minor Center does everything. In fact, the parts for these Morrises are made in India, and that's how they kept them on the road so long. There were all the panels, all the um, all the panels that that you bought, the replacement panels and uh, repair panels. They're all made in India. Anyway, just to let you see what's going on, I'm going to bring the, the the camera in a bit, and I'll show you what I've been up to. And um, you can see, hopefully, from this hang on i just won't go in too far okay so you can see from here um there was there's a lot there was a lot of paint unfortunately somebody had painted these bodies black and i think you can i think hope hang on maybe i have to come under the light maybe that's better there you can see that they've been painted black and i don't know what they painted it with but it's extremely hard it's almost like a teflon paint um so i've tried a few things out to see what's better. I tried buying some uh, paint stripper. This particular one is not very good. Um, but, you know, I, I saw a spray on one in America, which seems to react within a few minutes. This is not particularly good. It was helping, 
but I don't know how long you'd have to leave it on, but uh, it's not particularly good. It wasn't very expensive either, so not impressed with that, but there are some better paint uh, strippers. So because this bowl uh, may or may not be usable, I decided to give it a, a see if it would work with a sandblasting, but then I could still bring it back again. So if you look there, in fact, that's not going to work. It's, I'm going to have to keep it under the light. If you see there, you can see the sandblasting. Hang on, I have to keep it in the camera. So you can see it's been sandblasted and it's kind of sparkly, motley. And what we're using is I'm using some uh, sandblast that's been media that's been used many, many times over. So it's a lot finer. It's something you need to be very careful with, with carburetors because a tiny, tiny little piece in the needle could screw things up badly. So it wouldn't be my favourite option. My favourite option would be paint stripper, which I'm going to try and buy a, a better spray one. But as you can see, it's quite mottled there and there. And then I came back and I gave it a rub with some, some uh, paper. And I've got um, different emery here. I've got 360, um, 600 and even 2000. 2000 you wouldn't need, but I need it for another job anyway. And I've got 600. Um, and I haven't even put this in the buffer machine, but you could buff it up. And you can see the difference there. If I put that in the light, you can see from the back where it's dull or sparkly and where I turn it round, you can see even there where I've just cleaned it and there where I've kind of shined it a little bit. I think you can see there's quite a bit of difference, and especially on top here. And you can actually see the difference there. So it does work. Um, to give you an idea how these things can how, how these things can go where they can go from. So this is the carburetors that were bought that were really filthy, really bad. Um, to be honest, if I'd have seen how, what condition they were in, I wouldn't have bought them off him. But due to the situation I was in, I just had to take what I could get. But anyway, so you can see that that bell on there is, 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 quite, is quite bad, or it looks quite bad. And then this is one, I've not done the whole thing, but you can see I've cleaned this up and, and you can see how shiny that is in comparison. And that wasn't much, it was probably 30 minutes work on that inside the drill press. Uh, but you can see that how it can come up and how, how, it, how nicely you can dress them. Uh, but as I say, it's had about 30 minutes work on that, so there you go, there's the difference. It's not done all the way. One area's been buffed more than another, I can't, I can't remember where it is, I think it's there somewhere. But you can see the difference. So, I've got this now stripped down to, there's nothing left in it, even the shafts out, um, the butterfly shaft. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and find some really good paint stripper, hopefully spray foam type one, and see if I can get this off. Most of it is off, but all the nooks and crannies, and it takes forever because I wasn't happy with this brush on stuff, so I'm going to... Well, so I need something that's stronger, put it that way. So, there's the body of it. And, like I say, in the, in the video, you'll see it's exactly the same carburetor, the same setup and everything. So I'm going to crack on with that. There's a, a, a second one I've already stripped, and this is the last one here. Um, and I am finding that all the, the, the bolts and the screws are very badly seized up mainly because they've had there's been water lying in these things yeah that's good that's punctured too they have a new float for this for the jaguar guys um, they have one that's uh, puncture proof and it's made of rubber it's got uh, cells in it so no matter what happens it cannot it cannot drop down or over, over, over flood the uh, fuel lines. Uh, they're only about eight quid more, I think six pound more. I think they're 20 pounds for these uh, brass ones. Um, and I think the brass cum rubber are 27 or something like that, they're about six or seven quid. So it's worth having because they're, they're, they're non-puncher, they're anti-puncher, well not anti-puncher, they're, they're uh, uh, puncher-less. They've got special uh, cells inside it, something it can't puncher. Um, and especially for the fuels of today, a lot of ethylene in and so on. In them. But as you can see, this one's in quite poor condition as well. They've been very, very difficult to get apart, much more than my E-type ones were. So, really, that's it. Um, 
Uh, I won't be getting on with much now because I've got to, to uh, get my wife back uh, on the road. And uh, I'll just bring you back out again so you can see. As I said there, uh, I think that'll give you a good, that gives you pretty good showing the difference. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back out. Yeah, so, so that's it, just a real quick one. Um, Amir's back on uh, Saturday, I believe it is, and we're gonna, the first thing I wanna do is crack on with this uh, Volkswagen. I've got an idea to make some kind of tilting tray on this um, Volkswagen uh, Synchro. Um, basically to make the loading easier than, than the, I don't want to go over the top with it because the amount of times we'll use it will be fairly small and it doesn't warrant the amount of hours and work putting into it but if I can make a basic tilt system on it then we'll do it and I'm coming up trying to come up with some ideas now so uh, so I'll catch you in a few days I'll, I'll it'll probably be uh, what day is it Thursday it'll probably be the weekend before I get back to you again so stay safe keep the faith uh, enjoy your hobby take care bye